team of European astronomers have discovered a new galaxy based on earlier images captured by the Hubble telescope. The collection of stars is roughly 13 billion light years from Earth. And to learn more about this discovery, let's welcome Andrew Fisikas. He is the astronomy columnist for the Montreal Gazette. Andrew, good to see you. Hi, Brad. This is light from a galaxy that took 13 billion years to reach us. Talk about the implications of that. Well, this is this is just uh, one of those uh, really amazing discoveries that we can we can thank our our giant telescopes to be able to do this. We're able to literally peer back, uh, not just in distance, but but in time as well. We're talking about looking at a galaxy that's now set a record as the as the farthest object we humans have ever laid eyes on, and it's 13.12 billion light years away. Basically, what, what that means is that the, this light, this ancient light, has taken over 13 billion years to reach our telescopes here on Earth. And so now we've re literally looked back in time uh, to when the universe was still a baby. The, uh, astronomers estimate the when this light left this galaxy, the universe was only 600 million years old. 600 million years old, yes practically a bouncing baby. Tell us about the telescope <laughs> that scientists used to discover this galaxy and, and the role that the Hubble telescope played to uncover it. Well, d d basically, what, what we're talking about is a, is a combination of two different telescopes, one on the ground, one in space, working in concert together. The, uh, the one on the ground is located in the high uh, mountaintops of Chile. It's uh, the largest ground-based telescope, eight and a half uh, meter wide uh, large mirror. It's about the size of a, of a school bus, this, this mirror. Uh, it's called the Very Large Telescope, run by the Europeans. And uh, then you've got the Hubble Space Telescope that's sitting above the atmosphere of the Earth that uh, doesn't have, uh, that isn't impacted by the blurring atmosphere of, of, of the Earth, so it can peer it really crisply at objects very far away. And so we're, we're literally trying to, trying to peel back this, this, what we call a cosmic fog that existed in the first billion years of, of the universe. And this is, this is the big challenge for astronomers, is, is trying to build bigger and better telescopes to be able to peer farther and farther back in time, as close as possible to the Big Bang, and we're kind of reaching that point where the very first light of stars and the very first galaxies uh, were born, and uh, so we're reaching kind of the we think the the limit of how far back we can see. Fascinating. Now, aside from uh, the vast distance, 13.1 billion light years from Earth, uh, what else do we know about this galaxy aside from the fact that it looks like a orangish smudge? That's right. I mean, you have to remember, this is literally f like a, a, a fossil light that we're seeing. Mm. I mean, this is the ultimate in archaeological <laughs> digs, uh, <laughs> cosmic-wise, that's for sure. We're literally, you know, looking at a, a baby galaxy, a galaxy sort of of what will eventually become a galaxy like what we, galaxies that we see around us today in the modern universe, like our own Milky Way. Uh, this is a very primitive galaxy. It's about uh, one-tenth the size of, of our Milky Way, and uh, there, these are first generation stars that we're seeing. So if we could have a ringside seat next to it, it probably look like it wouldn't have the spiral pattern that, that our Milky Way galaxy has. It's probably more of an amorphous blob. And yes, it is, is glowing sort of with a feeble orangey light. It looks very different from what we would see today. But this is what you have to remember. These are baby galaxies, primordial galaxies that will eventually, over 13 billion years of evolution, will become a galaxy like what we see today. So Andrew, what's likely to come next out of this? Aha. Well, astronomers always want to push back that frontier, uh -huh. and uh, they think astronomers that led this study think that believe that they will be able to make uh, more uh, push back that record even more, uh, maybe by a few hundred million years. It'll be probably incremental, small increments, until we we build the next generation Hubble, which is called the James Webb Telescope, scheduled to launch in 2014. Now that telescope is going to be able to peer back maybe as far back as 300 to only 200 million. years years after the Big Bang, really reaching that ultimate limit. Fascinating topic. Love talking about this. Hope we uh, get an opportunity to talk again soon, Andrew. Andrew Fizikas, the night sky guy, joining us from Montreal this morning. Thanks so much for this, Andrew. Good talking to you. Thank you.